I'm slipping this in. I'm going, I'm trying to take this outwards, so to the right. And there you go. This is already out. Coming this way. And that's it. Uh, now it just came out. These are the tabs. Not sure you can see. These are tabs right here. Luckily I didn't break anything, I hope. Guess we'll take the other one out and then from there we'll kind of talk about it. Let me see how this one goes as well. I think this one just does is the same thing. It goes like this. It goes outwards. trying to pull it outwards like that. Just don't want to break it. Oh shit. So basically this is kind of like a clamshell fitting. It goes on like this. Alright. So basically you have to go ahead and use something in between where these clamshells meet. For me, I use this chipster right here, chiseler. Fit it in between, kind of pry it outwards. After prying outwards, it came out like this a little bit. And what happened was I had to bring it out like this. So the right passenger side mount or, or clamshell goes to the right and basically it meets up with this tab right here so this tab goes into this tab it has to come out like this once it comes out like this you're pulling downwards and that should be it same concept with this guy right here so once you have everything separated you're supposed to go the driver's side you're supposed to go left and then downwards as you can tell if you see this tab right here it meets up with this guy on the other side All right, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark the mirror just to make sure. And I'm gonna take the mirror apart. According to all the forms, we're turning it counterclockwise. Damn. That is tight. And then I guess we're gonna keep going. Shit. Damn. That was my bad. That was too much force. And now we are going to mark it again. This part. Alright, so this is one of the hardest parts I think from Alright Red is putting the mirror down back on. So I'm gonna take as many pictures as I can to get the position before it gets being before it gets put back. All right guys, let's go ahead and try to take this out. All right, 
so let's see if I could take this camera off and kind of get you guys as close to look. Not sure if it's possible. Right. So basically, that's how it looks. And the hinges are there. There are four metal hinges that snaps in place. Right. And I'm not even sure if it's working right now. But once you take it off. Out comes the wire, the wiring harness, and we're going to remove the wiring harness. Uh, how do you do it? All right, so no one really told me how hard it was to remove this thing right here, the harness. So I have to figure out how to go ahead and remove it. Uh, I believe it's, how do you even do this? So it's off. Okay, this is how it looks. There are no tabs on each side, I'll, at least I don't think so, to um, connect it to this thing right here. Uh, let me get a better view of everything. I'm gonna zoom out, get it on a dashboard. So basically this is the mirror once it's taken out all right and this is the harness right here that we're going to be attaching everything to just got to make sure it's in um, like so all right you could take it out like this but you could also put it back in right under like this And in terms of the tabs, this is how it looks. I think the hardest part is to grab this and turn clockwise to lock it back in afterwards. So. All right, so the form saved me a lot of time. All right, I did a lot of extra reading before attempting this project. So um, based on this, I'm just gonna trust the form. I didn't bring a multimeter or anything. The black and solid yellow that's going to be your constant or your switched power. 
and the brown with the dots or the the bar right there that's going to be the grounded wire so i sh that should be able to save me some time what i have right now is i have this um this mounting kit or not mounting kit the hard wiring kit and i got it from amazon so let's take a look it's from radar mount a company it comes with rj11 wire the ground and power and hopefully it goes ahead and just fits in with everything all right i'm gonna unbox this right now Try it out. It comes with a braided wire. And I was afraid that there won't be enough space to kind of fit this in. This is about maybe a foot in length. So it's definitely long enough, but I'm not sure if it's gonna fit between the clamshell where the clamshell meets. So I believe it should once you close everything up, right? And this is how it goes, right? Once you close everything up, uh, this wire, this braided wire, should fit between the stem of the mirror and also give it enough space for it to be disguised and hidden. So it should be okay. Alright, that's what the look I'm going for. We'll see if it works. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to go back up here. See if we could tap everything in. Alright. These are the taps. I'm gonna tap the ground first, I'm guessing. So I should go in like this. I need light. power just goes in right here and that's it I'm going to pause the video and set the app. I think it should be okay. It's in there real good. Put it back on and see if it works. All right, so this thing loops in like so. angle like this. Oh, that's gonna be hard. Let's make sure the connections are good. I don't want to repeat what I'm doing. Alright. This thing 
it's tough to undo it. No, dude. I just want constant light. Yes. All right. So I have to get it at an angle like this. Make sure it locks on. Once it grabs, I think you just turn it. Right. Just turn it back. It just has a grab on. Once it grabs on, you're just turning it, but I don't want to mess up the can. it all right I'm not even sure if you saw all of that but it's back on solid wasn't as bad as I thought it would be fully functional mirror hopefully let's test the unit in one last time if I can find it right there let's pop this sucker back in stuff good stuff what we're gonna do right now is pop it back pop these clamshell things back on right and then we should be good money let's turn off the car and let's get it started let's finish it up let me take a quick breather Breather. So I guess um, marking the camera, I mean, I'm sorry, why did I say camera? Marking the mirror with some sort, some, um, some sort of Sharpie would make things a lot easier because you know what angle the, the, um, the mirror is getting back or how it's going to be going back. So I think that's one of my biggest tips after watching, of course, all the um, gurus out there doing their thing before, you know, and providing the guidance. All right, so this thing goes back on like so. Uh, get up over here. Just make sure you loop it, right? Just make sure this thing goes between. After after this, you just make sure this thing goes back and that's it. Well, wow, it goes on easier than I thought. Um, and lastly, make sure this thing goes on like so, right? There's a tab here. There's a tab here. That's gonna go in here. Line everything up. All right. Okay. I'm afraid this thing's gonna rattle, honestly. But I'll take it. If anything, maybe I'll put a piece of tape over here to prevent it from because I know when I'm under acceleration and a sound actor is going off, something's rattling somewhere. All I gotta do is put my mind to this shit. God damn.